Hi folks, Darth Alice here once again and I wanted to show off my newest install that I just finished. This here is a custom Nocturne Armory that was built for Jedi Yarnala to his specs and his design. Um, all I did really was an electronics install. I added a Canon control box for a secondary switch as it didn't have one as it came. Um, I changed out the main LED in the switch itself because that was automotive and it too high a voltage so I put a small white LED that's extremely bright that I had to diffuse inside this thing. Arkham, big shout out to him, he did a beautiful job etching this with Yarnala's personal symbol, different parts of the Republic, Arabesh, I mean it does look cool. There's a brass one that matches it as well. And that's funny, this has a removable pommel section where you can actually slide this off and change this sleeve and I think there's going to be a total of like eight of them. I also added two little brass fingers with set screws, actually thumb screws here, to act as fingers to hold the door on. This is a little door that Nocturne made and all I did was pull little uh, bent tabs off of it, cut some slots, more slots into it and added a brass screen to it just for architectural interest. So there we go, the Nocturne Armory. I don't even know if this one has a name, but let me fire this up. What I did was put a font I use quite a bit, and that's Electrum. This one has some of the best sound content for just the amount of FX quotes, um, blaster sounds, everything, so it's one I like to default to. As a side note, I just finished going through Lord Blaco's uh, Starkiller uh, uh, font package and my god it's huge when that guy makes fonts he's putting 150 140 different wave sounds on each font which it's kinda hard not to use all of them but with igniter you can only have 99 wave files per font bank so I think you can have a total of 864 actual wave sounds and music tracks on igniter it's it's ridiculous again folks that's why I encourage you to tune your own cards and work on a configurator yourself to really personalize the igniter experience. So here we go, let me let me pull the kill key. When industrial actions light ups, you know, one of his uh, dual phases, there's a switch on. Okay, and then you can see the accents going and doing their thing. Alright, let's fire her up. Igniter 3.7 volt. I'm running a Tenergy 3400 milliamp in this thing. Recharge port, and again, lots of little things going on inside this thing. Swings. Very sensitive as expected. FX sound, and you don't have to twist the saber to get. I mean, look at that for sensitivity. I'm barely moving it, and I'm getting my swing uh, swing responses. Um, blasters. I love this too because I set this one where it's on just um, random block colors so it changes color every time you hit a blaster. There we go and then lock up. I got a few different lock up waves on this for fonts. And then here, let's do this. Let me show you what we've got going on under this brass screen. And there we go. I'll tighten these little finger things down a little bit so they don't flop all over the place. There we go. And look at that. All right, and then dual phase. Purple blade. Alright, so that was the first final Electrum. I'm only going to show a couple. I could sit here all day and spend 20 minutes showing you guys all the cool stuff this does. But I think you've seen it. You will go to the Deco box. Another Blaco, Blaco font that's just overloaded with content, which is awesome. Thanks, Blaco. Green. As you can see what's going on in the chamber. Dual phase. That's FX sounds. And 
from the blue. And there we go, folks. Again, this is Darth Alice with another igniter install. Thanks again for watching, and may the force be with you always.